How's it going, y'all? Doing an installation on this Caseta wireless. I already put a lot of them in here. And um, this is the, the one I got here. The PKG1W, not the WB. The PKG1WB has the bracket, this bracket already inside it. But I got, I got the one without the bracket because it was cheaper on Amazon. I believe it was like 48 bucks and then I bought this to the side. Um, these are like six bucks or something, five ninety-five. So I saved myself like three or four dollars just buying it separate. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna do an installation on this. And um, so this is the bracket, wall bracket. This is for this wireless remote. So inside here, you got instructions or not even instructions. It's just some random paperwork as always. Got the bracket here. This is the wall bracket, wall mounting bracket here that goes into the box screws right there. And there on the bottom. And then it comes with if you wanted to do it with um it comes with the wire nuts with 632s to go into the box, or if you want to put these little anchors and just have it screw basically, you know, anywhere in the room. You put it anywhere, like you know, you put it up here or whatever. So you can just do that, or the actual switch itself. Once I open this thing up, I pre-cut this a little bit. So you can you can also just take. I believe this is the double-sided tape right here, and um, just stick it to the wall it off and just stick it, stick it straight up on the wall um, but if you're going to use this mounting bracket here and you would just slide this guy off right here slide that off and it will just clip into into the groove right here see this little this thing here it just slides into that point and that's pretty much it, it just houses it i'll show you one once i'm done with it now. that's that uh, these are the tools I got for right now, screwdriver, my uh, needle nose pliers, strippers, linemen, and my little, my little drill gun. Um, so, in this package here, we got that little wireless remote, got the wire nuts, and these are two screws necessary to wire up the switch. Switch. Out. All right. So we're gonna go over, grab our material. So this is one, this is one three-way location. The, the blue and the orange are my traveler wires. And then this is my switch leg wire that, that goes up to that box up there, which is gonna be my chandelier. I'm just installing the switch right now just to have it. I have those wires capped off, safed off up there. You see the wire nuts, just in case. So I have that saved off, but I'm just gonna install it anyway so I can close up this box. So on one end, you're gonna have a switch leg like this and your two travelers. And on the other end, you should have your hot wire and two travelers. We transitioned it from black, red to orange, blue. So just to show you that it's my hot wire, I'm gonna use my So this is my hot stick right here. So you can see I got power there. Alright, so now that's my hot wire. Disclaimer, do not work on anything live. Turn off the circuit. But in this case, I'm just doing a demonstration video on, on how I hook it up. 
It's up to you on how you want to do it, but obviously, always turn off the circuit. So, I'm using my wire strippers. If you have never used a wire stripper before, there's gauges on here that tells you what size to strip at. There's numbers here. I'm gonna go with the 14 gauge because I got 14 gauge wire. So, I'm gonna strip it right in the middle here, about half an inch on both. That. My hot's already stripped, I have it capped off. And then on the, the switch side, the switch itself comes with this screwless plate. But uh, since I have a double gang, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this type of plate instead. Double screwless plate since I have one already installed. But you can just take this off and save it. Screws, two little 632 screws that hold. Put two the yoke. Let's take that off there. So another thing that I like to do now, is since I have the, uh, I know I'm putting two switches in, is they got these little side plates here that you want to take off so that um, it'll fit the two switches in uh, together. If you have a single box, you can just leave these plates on to help hold the hold everything in place. But in this case, I'm going to take it off. And all you do is grab it like this and just go back and forth. And it just comes off. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to take all of them off. It just works out better for me when I'm putting my plate on if I take both off. I got all that off. Like I said, this is the, this is the model number right here. If you don't know of this setup here, it has two wires, two black wires, and a green. So you got your ground, and then you got your your basically your line and load wires. Now it doesn't matter which one you use here; it's just passing through one and going through it and going down the other. I just like to look at the switch and use the left side for my hot. Since I have the hot on this side, I'm gonna put the hot to this and my two travelers to the right side. Now, if I was installing it on the opposite end, I would do this on the switch leg and then these on the travelers. It doesn't really matter which, which side I put this switch on. I could put it on this side where the hot is or I can go to the opposite side where the switch leg is, which is the line going up to your light. It doesn't matter which side I use. As long as I have one, uh, one on either the hot or switch leg and then the second one on the travelers and that's basically it okay so i like to trim this down it's sticking out quite some you know quite a lot i like to keep it at about half inch so i trim this down trim this down i'm going to focus back on the wiring portion we always like to do the grounds you always want to do your ground first so your ground is your safe point Anything, if there's any issues, then it'll go, at least you have your ground connected. So, to open up the package with your wire nuts and your 632 screw. Don't drop the 632 screws, because sometimes it's hard to find. So I'm taking these wire nuts out. Put the 632 screws to the side. Wire nut ground. You always want to do a tug test, right? Tug test, make sure it doesn't come off. I'm using my right side for my travelers. Like I said, you always wanna do your hot last. So you work your way from ground, if you're doing like a, a outlet ground neutral hot, or in this case, I do the ground, my travelers, and then my hot. But you always wanna do that as a common practice. So I got those two hooked up. Now all I have left is one wire, right? This is my hot wire, it's this guy here. Go ahead and hook this up. But I do wanna show you one thing. So I'm all hooked up now, okay? Essentially I'm hooked up. All I gotta do now is just tuck all these wires in. I like to fold them in a nice manner. Let me pull this over. 
inside this box right here, you kind of see it's coming down like this. And then I'm just gonna take this and fold it over and then double back and then push it in. But before I do that, I'm pretty much wired up already. Um, not too worried about pushing that in later. So that's how it looks like when it's actually in. Okay. I just push it, push it to the back and then screw it into the, to these little holes here. Little 632 holes here in there. Sometimes you got a little bit of plaster in there, but the screw will just go right through it. It just breaks down. Now, I wanted to show you this on this end. So on this end, I got, I got these three and all I do is just take these and just put them together. So your switch leg, you wire dot it together with your travelers like that. There, zoom out. Put a wire nut on them. So you're basically just tying all three together right here. That's basically it. So that's basically what I have on this setup. You can see this is the the other the switch that I showed you earlier. It's this switch right here. So this is the switch leg. This black wire is a red wire. This black wire goes to my lights jumps through all my lights, all those lights, and then the red wire, I have one wire that goes straight up over to here. I have the black and the red up in that chandelier, but I just capped off the black and I'm only using the red. And that's what this is, and I just did that right here. Because you don't need it, this is a wireless section here. I'm gonna put this wireless switch right there instead. So in this case, if you have the switch leg on this side, you wire them all together. Whether you have the switch leg here, or your, your hot wire here, you just wire it all of them together where your wireless wireless remote's gonna be. And then on the other end is where you do all your connections and that's it. So it works pretty efficiently. Like I said, this is this setup right here was the one I did for these, these can lights right here. And then I already programmed this remote for it. Okay, so. Now that's basically it in a nutshell. This on this end, why not your either your hot or your switch leg to your travelers, and then the opposite end, you wire you wire everything according to what I said earlier. One wire goes to your hot or switch leg, the other goes to your switch your um, travelers. Now, you might have a situation where you have your hot and your switch leg coming into the same box. Okay, so what people end up doing is they'll run this is basically a fork, this wire right here, and this white, it's basically a red, black, and a white coming out of this white jacketed. Wet, red, black, white, and a ground coming through here. So they'll take this and jump it over to the other switch over here. Just kind of what happened. And then it tape, tape the, the white wire as, as a hot wire, you know, it's black. So they, they basically are taking using the white wire because you don't need a neutral for this switch and you don't need a neutral over here because there's no there's no load going over here it's just a switch you just you're just switching the hot right you're just essentially switching taking this wire here so i can show you right now this is my hot wire if it's in the off position technically I mean, the way that this switch on the thing is, it's, it has, it just has hot sitting in it. But essentially, you have your hot wire coming through here, and then the switch will regulate it, and then the hot wire comes back through here, and goes through these travelers, right? And then essentially turns, comes over here, and then turn, and then brings the hot through to your switch leg that goes up to your light. Basically, that's what's end up happening here. And then your neutrals or your white wires go together, and that's how it works. So that's basically it. So I'm gonna do a quick test with this one. So I want to show you how you would program. So in order to program, you hold this for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it will start to flash like that. It starts flashing. Then any remote you have, you hold on the the off button for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, now you can see the, the, wire, the light starts to dim and it's just saying that it's talking to this remote and that's it. So now hit that. Now this 
wireless remote works, okay? And then it just uses a CR32 battery in the back of this, and that's pretty much it. Um, all right. I would show you one on this one, but I don't have an actual light installed. So that's it in a nutshell. Hope you guys learned something from this. Like I said, don't work on it hot. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell.